Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well because today we're talking about music. Today we're talking about Tightrope from Unsteady. There we go. This is a vinyl release. Now this album originally came out CD only in 1996. There you go. It has been reissued on vinyl from Escape Hatch Records. There you got their logo down there. Uh, it came out July 28th of 2023 on what's described as a 12 inch clear vinyl with a smoky color swirl. I've got the copy here. Now this copy was kindly sent to me from the fine folks at Escape Hatch. So thank you very much. Don't touch it. You know, you want to keep the vinyl. Here you go there. Purple. Looks fantastic. I love it. Um, yep. Yeah, so Tightrope Unsteady. Uh, 1996 is when it came out originally. Uh, who do you got on the album? Got to give credits first. Now this is a kind of two-tone third wave band. Uh, not two-tone, but like that's where they're drawing a lot of their inspiration. Uh, we'll get into like a lot of what they sound like, but I would say they're kind of riding that crest between the two the two waves, and they do it super well, super well. So on bass you have Paul Howland, drums you have Kent Graves, as well as uh, Mike Hahn on a couple tracks. Guitar Brian Lancaster on the uh, organ and guitar you have Scott or Kevin Hewitt. Sax, tenor, and alto, as well as vocals, you have John Roy, trombone, Nick Andres, and trumpet, you have John Fisher. Now, some of you might recognize a couple of these names, and uh, a name that'll come up later as well as being uh, members or appearing on albums from Donkey Show, which is another California-based band around the same time. Um, so that's really cool to see those those scenes and, and groups connecting and uh, mixing and, and blending together. Uh, the album is also recorded at Double Time Studios in El Cajon, California. And yeah, let's get into it. So the CD originally had 17 tracks. This edition has kind of the 11 tracks that flow together the best to mix well, which is a totally fair thing. Um, so the CD issue, if you can find it, that's, you know, one unique thing. You'll get six extra tracks as well. Something that was pointed out to me by John. Uh, the original CD version didn't actually say the album track on it. And I didn't notice that until I looked at a picture. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't actually say tightrope, just unsteady. Um, so I guess the original story, so the original artist hired by the previous record label missed the entire layer with tightrope on it. Um, and it had to be resent to the printer, uh, and they didn't want to pay for the reprint, so they just went went with that edition, which I totally get. Uh, so that's really cool too. If you can find that on CD, you'll get like some a unique print as well as some tracks that aren't on this release. Um, but the artwork really says a lot about the band. When I listened to it initially, just like without doing research, without the idea of having to give this a review, just kind of listening to hear what it is, I get a really strong vibe of like. The jazzier part of the Scottalites mixed with that sort of two-tone punky attitude of uh, the toasters. And you just hear a lot of that, like I said before, that kind of really cool period in, in ska and ska punk where you're getting still those two-tone influences, but blending together with sort of alternative rock, you know, radio rock that you would have heard, as well as kind of pop punk on the radio that you may have heard as well. Um, or even the underground scene, right? So if you're in California, you'd be getting a lot of that sort of Gilman influence and Bay Area influence. And you hear that all on here, and it's it's really cool. Um, the horns also really stand out to me on this. Um, I, everything does. Like, it sounds great. Um, I've listened to this on vinyl, so I'm not sure exactly um, how much it was cleaned up from the CD release. But it, it just sounds super clear. It sounds fresh. It's, it doesn't sound uh, dated at its time at all it just sounds really really good um but the horns are really punchy and the horn lines and the melodies really really stand out to me as well um and you do have some guest vocalists and guest uh performers as well um so i'm just looking at the the cd release here as well because then i can tell every, you know share all of it um on track six gotta dance you have uh tim bishop on double bass and mert cushman on vibraphone Without you, you have Jeff Forrest doing lead tambourine. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, and then on number nine, Sally uh, with uh, Kim Cliff, which I'm pretty sure that is on here as well. Yeah, yeah. Sally is one of the standouts for me. Actually, a lot of these are. Uh, Sally, Bad Attitude, I really like. What Kind of Fool I Like. Uh, and the last two tracks, Race and Reason and Ode to Mr. Davis. I really like those as well. Um, 
I mean, for 11 tracks, like these are all, these are all great. Um, but let's go through all of them just to make sure, you know, everyone gets their due. So Sally of Kim Cliff, also associated with Donkey Show. 10, Joanna, um, which is not on here. Uh, it's like, I think I heard that, but that was when I was, uh, found a digital copy. Uh, 11, Insecurity. 12, What Kind of Fool also has Kim Cliff on it. 13, Dark You Love Affair. 14, Race and Reason. Uh, heavy rotation then yeah out to mr davis you have uh, on double bass tim bishop again and then 17 which i don't think is on yeah that's not on here at all um i don't know spanish <coughs> pimiento loaf gumbo could have actually read that first and realized that it, two of those words are words that i know <laughs> pimento loaf gumbo so an accordion Merc cushman banjo tyler grant Clarinet, you have Sabrina Ingalls on mandolin, Brian Van der Wettering, Van der, Van der Wettering and on tuba, Bill Riddell. So some of these people you're not going to get on the vinyl release, which is a cool reason to like be a completionist, which I like. And speaking of that, actually, Escape Hatch Records, not only are the vinyl really cool and like the packaging, but you get, and I love these, I love these back in the day, you get like all the releases to try and find on here show this off to you this is who is specifically on the vinyl releases as well as uh the band there so it's amazing um yeah just I, like i look at the track listing for what you get on the vinyl and it's like that's a hit bald fury that's a great one like the cost that's a good one all of these are solid and i think this is totally worth checking out one if you're into kind of the the physical and tactile nature of ska i think you really owe it to yourself to grab this release if you're into awesome colored vinyl prints. I mean, this is, this is fantastic. This is amazing. Uh, if you're just into, uh, you know, bands that are harder to find releases from, like, you, I don't think this is available on streaming. I think I took a look and I didn't find it. You can find on um, some other unsteady releases, but not this one. Um, this is really, really cool to, to have a love of that you know of a genre uh, and connect that with you know what's come before and how it's influenced and how they've been influenced and this album really speaks to that both uh because of its kind of placement within the genre and the history but also just the sound it just sounds like something that's kind of bridging these gaps together playing stuff um and that's actually another note i got from john um so the vinyl holds a lot of tracks that fit together well the artwork was based on posters and photos from the circus um, Unsteady was walking a tightrope as a band in 1996 between multiple genres and subgenres all the time. Uh, my joke was one in every three people will like a third of what we play, so we try to keep mixing it up to keep the crowd from leaving. And you you get that on your in a good way, not in a bad way of like, oh, let's try this, let's try that. But in a way, it's like, you've got that rock song, let's do something a little more instrumentally or skylights or, or something like that. And that's really, really cool. So with that said, uh, check it out. I'll have a purchasing link down below um, if you want to check it out. Um, but this is well worth your money, well worth your time. I can't recommend it enough. So until next time, uh, that has been uh, Tightrope by Unsteady. Check it out. Have a great day. Bye.